the first question is, what do you see the benefits and shortcomings of the current strategy addressing the heroin epidemic? What is working, what is not working, and how can we better protect the community? Well, the benefits are is, is that we are able to get uh, treatment uh, to the uh, uh, addicts who, uh, who come before the court. Uh, we do have a drug court here in, in Stark County. Uh, we're assisting uh, them. Hopefully they'll, they'll get the assistance they need. Um, the downfalls are we're, we're just not enough funding. Uh, and I just saw hopefully uh, the feds state come through with the funding we need to help with the uh, treatment, help with the education, uh, of our uh, addicted uh, society that we have today. Uh, the, the House pilled, I think the House passed 18 bills uh, addressing the opiate problem that we had. Uh, they did not fund it though, that's going to come later on this summer. Uh, I know the White House was asking for $1.1 $1 billion uh, to assist in, uh, in funding which would come through through this. Also our state government needs to come through too. Um, I feel that they're not doing enough as we well know, uh, our governor took away our local government funding uh, from local governments. That really, really hurt all of us uh, in, in the county, city, and uh, to, to fight this uh, bad addiction. So hopefully he's built up this billion dollar rainy day fund. Well, believe me, uh, it's not only rain and it's snor storming out there when it comes to the heroin. And we need, uh, we need some action from the state to help us uh, fight, this, uh, fight this terrible problem. And, uh, you know, we, as a prosecutors, um, you know, work with the CHANCE program. We try to get the people who are picked up with uh, possession of heroin or any type of drug, try to get them in a program, try to have extensive uh, uh, program where they, they try to get through their addiction and uh, hopefully become a, a, a good res a, a citizen out in society again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the, frankly, nine out of ten heroin addicts that complete treatment relapse. Uh, and that's not counting the ones that start treatment that relapse before they complete treatment. I saw one study that indicated that 98 percent of heroin addicts relapse within five years. So I think we have to face the reality of the fact that the treatment programs we have simply do not work with heroin addicts. They have never worked. They're not working now. Uh, and so it is uh, simply not correct to think that we can treat these people. They, they simply are not amenable to treatment. What we don't do is demand from them the information of where they get their dope. And that's what I, I have done in my practice for years. The first question when someone comes into me, if you want me to represent you, fine, but you need to tell me where you get your dope and I'm going to tell the police. I have found that they don't go back to that same person and buy dope, and it does give some assistance to law enforcement. Uh, this word has kind of gotten out about me, and that's why you don't see very many people charged with heroin coming and see me. Now, I believe it's my turn to answer the two minutes. I have two minutes. Yes, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a much different approach with heroin. I think it's since it is the number one law enforcement problem that we have, that the Stark County prosecutor has to personally deal with that in the street, in the police departments, and in the courtrooms. I've tried every court of sort of criminal case that you can imagine and won from aggravated murder down to speeding. Uh, and I will put that experience to use combating heroin. Not by sitting in an office on the fifth floor pushing paper around and signing my name, but actually being in the street, being in the police departments, personally interviewing these people, and getting the information that can help law enforcement. And you know, frankly, if they don't want to tell us, then how serious are they about treatment? You know, that's a, kind of the key. Well, you don't want to tell us who's selling this poison to you, but you want us to put money into your treatment. Well, you know what? I'm sorry, but that doesn't work. And I think we also need to know who they get their dope from because I think it's a relevant factor when it comes time for sentencing. Judge, they cooperated. Or judge, they wouldn't tell us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think a new approach has to be taken. I think it's a personal thing with me when I see my city going down uh, because of heroin. And I'm going to personally take it on. Now, do I need this? No. But did the junkies and finding out who they get their dope from, giving the information to law enforcement, and personally prosecuting them in the courtroom. The chance court's a wonderful thing, but it doesn't work with heroin addicts. Nothing works with heroin addicts, unfortunately. So we're not going to start out the conversation with, oh, poor you, how can we help you? 
we're going to start out the conversation of where do you get your dope? And don't tell me you don't know. Thank you. Mr. Ferrari, your response? Yes. Hey, we do, you know, we do busy, vigorously prosecute. I think that's the key uh, is the sellers of, the, of heroin. In fact, uh, my opponent did represent a, a case in which we did convict the uh, seller of manslaughter after he sold uh, bad, uh, bad heroin to, uh, to people who uh, unfortunately died. Uh, so, um, yeah, for, for him to say to go, go get the uh, drug dealers, you know, these, these people are, are represented by attorneys, and if the attorneys don't come up and tell us uh, who's selling it, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just a dream that, that that's, that's going to happen. Uh, what we need to do is the feds, the state, FBI, everybody needs to get together and get to the sellers of where this is coming from. Um, when it's involving a murder, uh, we will vigorously prosecute here in Ohio. And we have done that. Uh, education is another thing that we have to do. We have to uh, educate our young people, and that's what uh, we try to do in our office. Assistant prosecutors will go out, give out and talk to uh, to schools and, and the kids and, and groups and tell them about this 